morning. From Udawalawe. Yesterday we took two buses from Ella to Udawalawe. Is that how you say it? I think so. I hope. Oh, yeah, I hope is right. And it only cost us 900 rupees between the two of us, which is about $3.66, I say. And it was like a three to four hour journey. So that's pretty good value for money. It was kind of interesting though because I had looked at some blogs about how to get between the two cities and what the blog said did not match what Google was telling me. And all I can say is thank goodness for all of the people at the train stations and bus stations who just seem to know exactly what bus you need to take between two different cities. They are so friendly and helpful because basically we turned up and we're like, okay, we want to go here and they're like, okay, first step here. Then when we had to change, they're like, yeah, no problem. We just go on this bus now. It could not have been easier, but it was all due to the kindness of the people around. And also this country is just so well connected by bus and train, I suppose, which is amazing for us. Absolutely. Public transport here is definitely something that I think pretty much most other countries in the world have learned from. It's just amazing how well it works. You can get from any city to another. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But the reason that we are here is not just because it's a lovely place to be, but also because there is a national park. And so we are about to go on safari and with any luck we'll get to see some amazing things, including elephants. That is why it is 100% worth being up at 5 a.m. to go on safari. This is kind of Nick's actual birthday present, even though his birthday was a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because yesterday we were lying in bed being like, we get to go on safari tomorrow. Wait, we get to go see elephants because this is something neither of us have ever done. And we're both huge animal lovers. And uh, yeah, it felt pretty unreal yesterday. And it's actually happening this morning. Let's get cracking, shall we? been in the park for one minute we've already seen our first elephant. This is awesome.
just got back after a five hour safari. I think as you can see, we've both been rendered a little speechless. It personally gave me time to have some big thoughts. I just thought, how surreal is my life? How is this what I get to do? Not every day as in going in safari, but this is the type of thing I get to do on a daily basis and how fortunate am I? This is an experience that I'm gonna say every child should have because children love animals, like it's a child's dream, but every person should get the opportunity to see animals in their natural habitat. It's just an incredible experience. From my perspective, like I was one of those kids. Like I was one of those kids who just desperately wanted to go on like to a game park or to a national park or whatever and do a big safari or something like that to go and see nature as intended. Ever since we kind of booked this trip mm -hmm. to then go here, then obviously I had a concept of mm -hmm. how that was going to be and just how amazing it would be to see, you know, especially the elephants and everything else that this national park has to offer, but this has surpassed that more. It was beyond our wildest expectations. Get it, wildest? Uh, See what I did? Uh, like, uh, obviously the star is the elephants, but mm -hmm. there was so much more that we saw that I didn't expect to see. I mean, I had heard rumblings of crocodiles, and of course we saw some baby crocs. And a big croc as well. Oh yeah, it was decently sized. Mm -hmm. And we saw monkeys, which of course we've already seen. And then there were like deer and wild buffalo and a mongoose. Several mongoose. Several. Mong geese, mongooses. Mongai. Some, something like that, whatever the plural is. Yeah. And then we saw a tortoise yeah. and a hare. And we still weren't sure who was winning the race at that point. <laughs> and we saw like peacocks and herons and storks. What other birds did we see? Oh my God, so many. Yeah, so many birds. Just, it was staggering. And then we also saw, I think, a lizard. Oh, and we saw a few eagles, but one of them was like, sitting on the ground, which I think is kind of rare. Yeah, you don't tend to see that. So that was really, really cool as well. Just like so many kind of little memories and collector's items and all that kind of stuff. It was just, if you were to do something like this and whatever expectations you will have, this will exceed it every time. I think one of the coolest parts for me was just seeing elephants living their daily life because I didn't know that they did this before, but I guess it's dry season here. Mm. And so they use their front foot to kind of like kick the grass, which kind of helps uproot it. And then they're able to collect grass and they collect enough grass until they have a sufficient bunch of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then they use their trunk to put it in their mouth. And just seeing elephants live their normal life, do their thing, that was, fascinating to me. They are such intelligent creatures to be able to figure that out and do it themselves. Unreal. Honestly, I think probably the most special thing wasn't just being able to see it, but I think being able to see it spoke by itself. Because mm -hmm. like, we had a number of different encounters whereby the elephants were maybe a few meters away from the safari car. And yeah. it was incredible because you got to see kind of just every little detail, every little inch and sinew, and they are just such beautiful creatures. It was such a treat. So I have a couple of people to thank for that. Oh. You for arranging it. Thank <laughs> you very much. And also um, thanks to everybody who gave me some birthday money uh, so that this could fund this. Really, really appreciate the, um, the birthday present. This has been incredibly special. So thank you. And thank you. You're welcome, Ben. I think the best thing as well is that even when we got out of the park, that wasn't the only nature we ended up seeing, because something we ended up finding is that there's a river on the way back to where we're staying. By that river, there is this gigantic tree. And when you go up, you just kind of see a lot of kind of little black dots and you think, what, what is that? Is that fruit or something like and that? And they're making noise. Yeah, and you start hearing noise and then you start to see wings unfurling and then you actually realize that that tree, which is not small, is full of flying foxes, which are gigantic, very cute looking bats. And hundreds of bats. Mm -hmm. 
And they're big. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what I picture a bat to look like. Exactly. They are massive. And seeing so many of them just concentrating on one teeny tiny little area was... That's, that's crazy. This is just another example of why Sri Lanka is the most incredible country. Yeah, probably one of the absolute standout things really of being here is just how wild it all is. Like how much they really take care of the nature here mm -hmm. and how much they try and sort of keep wildlife at the forefront of everything. And they try and sort of work with the land rather than against it. And I think that in itself is just kind of a real example of what everybody should be doing, really. Absolutely. I think we're going to be talking about this for years to come. Yep. Our entire lives. Sure what a special memory to have together. Absolutely. We've not talked this one for a while. No. Amazing. Well, our host has called us down for breakfast, so I think we're going to go fill our bellies. As we usually do when we have an early morning, we had a little nap this afternoon. Yeah, we ended up sleeping for about two and a half hours, which was obviously what we needed. Yep, despite the fact that I now feel very much space up, we're gonna go try and grab ourselves some snacks from nearby shops and that should hopefully make up some dinner. We just got back from the store and we picked up some crackers, some lemon puff cookies, three huge bottles of water because it's very hot and we're going through it like no tomorrow, some mango juice and some baked goods. And this all cost about five Canadian dollars. And after an absolutely incredible day, then I think that's gonna be about it from us. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.